Well, I'm what would be affectionately called um, a rock squeezer, but more specifically an ice squeezer. So what I try to do is, in the laboratory, devise experiments uh, where I squeeze or stretch or slide ice to try to understand how ice behaves out in nature. Well, in the past, I've looked at um, a lot of different properties of ice, uh, how it flows, how it rep responds to a, a periodic stress, but right now I'm focusing on friction. So um, I'm looking at how ice slides on rock, and so the application for that is to try to understand how glaciers flow over bedrock. So we use a big machine that um, applies a, a stress in this direction, and then we uh, slide ice past rock, and we try to measure what's called the friction. And um, this isn't, we're not necessarily capturing an entire glacier system in our lab. What we're doing is focusing on one aspect of the physics, looking at right there where the ice is sliding on rock and the resistance to sliding. And the overall motivation for this is that um, as, as we're trying to understand what goes into sea level rise, one of the components, it's a very complicated process, but one of the things that adds to sea level rise is uh, how fast ice goes from accumulation areas um, out to the sea. And so part of that is, is the flow of some of these fast moving um, bodies of ice, which are called ice streams. And um, so a lot, of a lot of scientists, glaciologists in particular, are trying to model how fast that happens. And um, there's a lot that's already known about, say, how the glacier moves in the interior, how it flows like, like putty. Um, but not a lot is known about how it slides over that bedrock. So that's what we're trying to recreate in the lab and, um, and discern those physics. I had a very unusual background and a very circuitous path to get me to basically even geology. I was a um, communications major first time around and a professional cheerleader and um, was a dance choreographer and but I took you know I took in my communications degree I took Geo 101 and it was only later after I retired from dancing and I was um, in particular on this this long road trip going rock climbing and just looking around and things that I'd learned in that class came flooding back and I just got more and more pulled in and so I wanted to go back to school. I quit my job at the time which was a, as a paralegal and went back to school. So throughout my career uh, something I've learned and something I think that is fascinating is that processes at the micro scale affect the macro. So things that happen at the the scale of the grains uh, within a, ice or rock uh, really affect how the bulk flows. Um, and moves and just responds to stresses in general. And so that's what I study in the lab. I try to, to confine an experiment so that I'm really measuring the physics of that particular process um, because then it's like a puzzle. You, you piece that together with all of the other pieces and that creates a much clearer picture of of the whole system. And that's what um, many of my colleagues here at Lamont are, are developing these very complicated models that try to describe the big picture, to describe exactly how ice contributes to sea level rise. So the ice flow from zones of accumulation out to the sea. Um, and so my work provides hopefully a clear, one clear puzzle piece <laughs> to, that, to that picture.